Welcome back to Luxlinger. Last time we were given the assignment to kill Frank Frack Franklin for stealing one of the luck charms. And we're going to be doing that today. Which means we're going to Goldberg. Where that is, I have no idea. But it's a mine. I know that much. Speaking of gold, we got seven gold bars. And I can pretty much guarantee you every single time we come into this room, I'm going to be playing with the gold bars. It's going to get wild once we get a lot of them. So what do you got for me, Luca? Well, thanks for the compliment, I guess. Anyways, we're off to Goldberg. And right off the bat, we see our first flying-type enemy, no pun intended, a trio of bats. Uh, they kind of move as one unit, but they all act as their own entity, and uh, each bat has one health. Along with the bat, we also have a new variant on the shoot man, the pickaxe man, who will uh, lob pickaxes at you. Well, not at you, but in your last known position, more or less. They're, they're very easy to take down. All you really need to do is, as soon as they throw, you just charge at them, and uh, there's really not much they can do at that point, because you're right there in their faces. Speaking of variants, uh, here's the strong type of the shoot man. Uh, he shoots a lot faster, and he takes a few more hits. Also, the shoot man takes an extra hit, and he shoots a little faster in this level. And that's kind of just going to be his entire means of progression throughout these first few levels because uh, it doesn't get really too crazy until uh, near the end of the game. So there's something you can do with this cart. You can just nudge it a little bit and it will start rolling down uh, the slope. And if you time it just right, you can jump on top and get up on that ledge. I didn't do it here because I'm bad, but if you do it right, you can get up there and get that chest up there. At most, it's probably just going to be like money or an extra life, so I mean, whatever. And let's gamble a little bit, which we get our first actual sub-weapon in this tent, along with a couple of hearts. But we got the shotgun. Now, the shotgun is a pretty good weapon uh, in terms of damage. It's also really good against bosses, and uh, I'll get into that once we start using it. But I'm going to hang on to it for right now. Best to watch out for those minecarts, because if you get stuck in front of one, it's almost impossible to jump out of. And now it's time to ride an elevator. And since we're moving downward and there are dudes shooting at us, we can just duck and those bullets will never touch us. Uh, it's always a good idea to just stay in the middle, crouch for the first couple of waves. But once we get to the fast shooting dude, you might want to stay on the opposite side. Since our shots are very fast, they don't slope upwards very quickly.
So right about here is one of my personal gripes about this level. It's because there's a lot of areas where you're going to be standing really high up on the screen, and the UI gets in the way a lot. Especially when it comes to hiding enemies behind the UI. But it only happens like three times throughout this entire level, but still, that's kind of crappy that you just walk along and next thing you know there's an enemy that was hiding underneath your uh, ammo count. And now the pickaxe man gets an upgrade. Now they throw their pickaxes like those knights in Castlevania. They'll throw them high and then they'll throw them low. And as you can imagine, to avoid the high ones, you just duck. And for the low ones, you can jump over. Well, technically you can jump over the high ones too, but I mean still, for safety reasons, you might want to duck. This is also an opportunity for you to master the role, as Lucas said because the boss is gonna have a whole lot of this kind of stuff going on. So it's better to learn the role now than in the boss fight. Anyways, more carts, stopping to kill dudes to get stuff. Now it's time for Russian Roulette. Now either this guy got really lucky and didn't die the first time we played, or this guy has a twin brother, or a series of twin brothers to say, because there's one in every level that look exactly like. So one thing I didn't mention in the previous videos is that once you roll, you can't roll again. There's a bit of a cooldown to it. So a pretty good rule of thumb for rolling is once you rolled, it's always a good idea to walk backwards a little bit or forwards and uh, give it some time to come off cooldown. So don't get roll happy or don't think you can because you're not. You can only roll so many times within a certain amount of time. Also watch out for the bats. I didn't. And here I'm going to show off the shotgun. Uh, the shotgun shoots in a burst of pellets. I like shotguns do. And they tend to take down just about anything in one shot. Unless it's like something in the later levels, then it may attack both shots. But for these first couple of levels, everything just dies to one blast, the shotgun. Also, I have no idea how you're running a farm underground, but... It's the end of the level, and now it's time for the boss. But first, let's spend up our luck. And our lucky bullets. You know, for fairness sake.
All right, first thing he's going to do is he's going to throw a pickaxe into the air and rocks are going to fall. You can basically just stand in one place and just move accordingly. And, I mean, it's, that's the best way to handle that situation. Anyways, he's going to be throwing pickaxes high and low, just like Luca said. And uh, it's pretty easy f at first. Really nothing too tough about this part. Also, that thing over on the right side is a health pickup, just in case you need one. But sometimes Duck Bridge will get it for you when you don't want him to. And that's that's one reason why I got rid of all my luck, because that, that's a luck-based thing. And I'll hang on to that health pickup until I need it. Which will be pretty soon, because I kind of messed up uh, in the later half of this... Yeah, right about here, when we reach Phase 2, where double of everything is happening, like double pickaxes and double rocks. So we're on the wire right now. Now I can really use that health pickup right about here. Anyways, you've pretty much seen everything he has to offer, uh, which makes him a, a pretty easy boss. A little more easier than than Sean, I would I almost say. And that about does it for this video. I hope to catch you next time. See ya.